everyone, it's Liz and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial based off of the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette collaboration. Guys, this is my favorite palette literally ever. Like, I don't know what is going to top this palette. Like, it is just so amazing and I love it so, so much. And it just gave me so much inspiration to do a look. Like, literally, you just, you just look at these colors and you're like, inspo, 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 inspo. Like, everything is just giving me so much life and I love it. So I created this green cut crease look with the rose gold in the cut crease. Guys, I've been loving this so much. I just want to wear this out all day. I'm going to go take out my dog to go to the bathroom in this look. Like, literally, it's the best ever. Um, no, I love it so, so much. And I just want to, like, wear this, like, as an everyday look. So if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It's for free. It's right down over there somewhere. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you want to see more tutorials. And definitely leave me requests down below of what you want to see on this channel. I'm trying to do more fashion videos um, in the making. <laughs> and I'm trying to do more makeup tutorials and reviews and all that jazz. Um, so definitely let me know what you want to see on this channel. Alright, because that'll help me. Hey. <laughs> Alrighty, well, without further ado, let's get on with this tutorial because I have been chit-chatting so so much. I'm so chatty, I know. I'm sorry, but that's just me. Hey, welcome to my channel. Uh, Alright, let's get into this. <laughs> Woo! Alright. A little bit of a new background kind of thing situation going on back there. I will be having a video on that real soon. I'm gonna try to record it as soon as I'm done with this makeup tutorial, so I'm gonna try to go a little bit fast so that I don't waste time. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright. So, first thing that I'm going to be starting with, actually, I'm going to be starting with my eyes first because um, I'm going to be using some colorful colors and I don't want there to be a ton of fallout. So, uh, I am going to be priming my face first, though. I'm just weird. Okay. All right. I'm going to be taking my Hourglass Mineral Primer. I am going to figure out how much I love this stuff. It, comes, it actually comes out very... Um, very watery. I almost forgot about that. I should probably shake it up a little. And it's just gonna make me look cool. Yeah. But that's alright. Because once we put our makeup on, it's gonna make us so awesome. It's gonna be so good. I can't wait. Alright, so next I'm gonna be taking my MAC Nubal Paint Pot. And I love this so, so much. I'm going to take a concealer brush. And I'm going to apply that for my eyes. Lily, no crying. Go see bees. I'm trying to get my dog to sleep and she's not sleeping. This is nap time. It's nap time. She's like right on my bed over there and like she just wants to get off and I'm not allowing her. <laughs> so then once I have that onto my eye, today we're going to be, <laughs> of course, you know, going back into the Jaclyn Hill palette because this is my favorite palette ever and I mean I wish that she came out with more like colorful colors because I've been having so much fun with these and of course I'm dipping into Jada and Pool Party again today so as you can see this, this, is, this is the bottom half over here that's very colorful. This is just an amazing palette. I love it so so much. It is one of my favorites ever like literally ever. I use this every single day now. So first color that I am going to be taking is Made For Each Other, which is M-F-E-O. It is this middle shade right up here. I'm taking a Morphe M433 brush, and this is just going to be like my base color that I use, so I'm just going to put that right into my crease. I love these colors so much, like Made For Each Other and Silk Cream and um, like all these other ones, those are the two I can think of on the top of my head. And speaking of, the next color I'm going to be taking is Butter, which is right here, and that's going to be our transition color. So next color I'm going to be taking is Jada, which is right here. It's this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous teal greeny like it's literally just j oh, everything in itself it's gorgeous and i'm going to be taking a morphe e22 brush it's just a, a nice fluffy brush and i'm just going to pat just a little tiny bit you can see from here how much color i picked up that was two 
tiny delicate taps and I'm going to be putting that into my crease. I'm looking for like one of those old fashioned hand mirrors. Um, I think I can like get one on Amazon to like hold instead of just like holding one of these because I, I like this but like I want something like a tiny bit bigger and like I don't want to be like crouching down like this for the whole tutorial of my mirror right here. Um, so yeah, definitely looking out for something like that. So I'm going to be putting that right into my crease and outer corner. I love this color so, so much. The pigment on it is unreal. Like, so unreal. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous shade. Lily girl. <gasps> Lily. What, baby? What, baby? Okay, so now I'm just going to go back in with butter and just kind of diffuse it out. Lily! Okay, hold on one, one, one second, guys. I, I just need to go and bring her down. She obviously wants to get down. Obviously, you don't want to stay with me. Before I put her down. Yay! Hi! Hi! Hi, baby! Oh, she's a good girl. She's getting a haircut tomorrow. Thank God. Next color we are going to be taking is emerald. So I'm just using emerald just to smoke it out just a little bit more. It's this middle green color right there. So I'm just going to be taking that, once again, little, little, little light tap. And I'm just going to smoke out this corner just a little bit more. Just to deepen it up just a little. and give it a little bit more dimension. I'm going to be taking Diva, which is the one right next to it, so I'm just using this bottom row right down over here. I'm going to take that and I'm just going to put that right onto my lid. Just a little bit more. Right here. Yes. Oh, I like this look just like this, but we're going to make a cut crease. So I have one of these Stila liquid shadow things. Um, it's in the color Rose Gold Retro and I've been like dying to use this so badly. We're gonna try it out. We're gonna see how it is. If it makes it look really bad then I will fix it. But I think it's gonna look really cool with this look so let's hope and pray for the best. I'm going to be taking my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, this is in the color Light Neutral, and I'm just going to be putting some of this on the back of my hand, just kind of like as a palette. I'm going to be taking this Angled Brush, this is like another one from that weird kit from Amazon. You're going to follow your natural crease. The trick when doing this is to check every now and then just to see if it's like lining up. Don't crease your eye too much. And, um, and just be super, super careful. So now I'm dipping, now I'm going to be really, really careful. Now I'm dipping into my Modern Renaissance palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm going to be taking the color Temptation, which is right up here. I just love this color so much as, like, like an overall bone color. So I'm just going to be using that. And I'm going to be setting my concealer that I just did. So it doesn't crease. There we go. Woo! Now I feel like I can move my eyes again. Woo! So now I'm going to be taking my Stila Liquid Eyeshadow. I'm so scared. I hate this, but I love it at the same time. Okay, so I'm going to try to apply it with this as much as I can and then like even it out with a brush. Come through, Shadow! I'm actually really loving this, so I'm really happy. Really happy. Can you say Little Mermaid? Little Mermaid. Okay, so now I'm going to dive back into my Jaclyn Hill palette because I need to get a few colors to uh, blend this out overall. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to be taking this dome brush that I got in a um, Tarte palette. Um, and I'm going to go back in. 
with Diva. Yes, I'm going to go back in with Diva. It's that really pretty metallic-y brown, uh, not brown, uh, green color. I'm just going to soften up this transition just a little bit. So it's not as harsh. And I'm done. Just kidding. I have to do my makeup now. The rest of my face. So first thing I'm going to be doing is going in with my NYX Dark Concealer Thingy my bobber. Yeah. And then this is, I love this stuff so much because it really does conceal any of my dark circles that I have, which I know I do. And then I'm going to make my beauty blender and just blend that out. Not my beauty blender, whatever this thing is called. Real Techniques Blender. What I love about this is that you can use it dry or you can use it wet. So, and it's nice, it's soft enough to use it dry on your face too as well. I usually just pat in my concealer with it. I'm going to be taking my usual <laughs> Makeup Forever HD foundation. I'm in the color Y315. And I'm going to be taking a, uh, a small kabuki brush. Perfect. All right, so next I'm going to be taking my Tarte Shape Tape again, and I'm going to conceal under my eyes. So what I like to do is take my um, Real Techniques brush oh, and spray it with some Fix Plus. <laughs> and then just go in with the concealer like that. So next I'm going to be going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette. And what I like to do is I like to just take a like flat kind of angled concealer brush and I'm going to go in with the darker colors, put them up on here, with my lines. Alright, and then I take the lighter color and then use that for my nose. Alright, so I just zoomed out a little bit, um, but I'm just going to take my Beauty Blender again, spray it with some Fix Plus, and start to blend in. It's like buff that into my skin with my Kabuki foundation brush. Going in with my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I am going to carve out everything, <laughs> literally. When in doubt, bake out, woo! While I let that sit on my face, <laughs> I like to just take, you know, a little bit more of this powder, this translucent powder because it's the best ever and just kind of apply it everywhere else just to set everything in stone. So next up is eyebrows, so uh, just gonna be like a few minutes here and just straighten out these brows because like I said I really need to get them done but I'm too lazy to go and get them done. So I'm going to be using the Chella um, eye cream, it's an eyebrow cream and I love this so so much because it really just Blends everything in, keeps it into place, and covers up any of like my sparse areas that I have. I've been using this like all month because I got this in my Ipsy Glam bag. Definitely a repurchase item. It's like so good. Woo! Alright, got my lashes on. <laughs> Even though that was like a process and a half and I'm pretty sure one of them is like falling off so... Fun. Um, but I'm going in with my MAC bronzer. This is in Delight. It's the Studio Sculptor Defining Bronzing Powder. What I really like about this is that it builds beautifully and like so effortlessly, you know. So next I'm going in with highlight. <clears throat> Obviously going in with my Jeffree Star X Manny collab. This is in Eclipse. I love this stuff so so much like hello hello there oh okay 
I'm going to be taking my Azalea Blossom blush. It's actually an ombre brush from MAC. Very old, very old. But it's still in great condition. <laughs> and I'm just going to add a little bit of that because we're using so many cool tones. I don't want to use like my warm super bronzer. I mean blush. And this is good enough. I don't want too much blush. Alrighty, so I'm gonna go in with um, the Kylie Mini Mattes. This is from her birthday collection. Alright, so one more little thing because of course this look wouldn't be complete if we didn't smoke it out a little bit more. Alright, so I'm going in with Jada. I'm just bringing that shade down to my lower lash line. And then I'm quickly dabbing into Obsessed, which is right down over here. And I'm going to put that in my inner corner. Okay, but last but not least, Fix Plus time. Let's do this. Let's let that set and sink in. Boom! Shakalaka. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up if you like this tutorial and if you want more tutorials as well. I'm trying my best to like pre-film as many videos as possible uh, so I can kind of get this ball going, you know? <laughs> like I want to be able to do two videos a week. Um, you know, that's always been my goal, but um, I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best. At least once video, once a week, you know, like there will be a video, <laughs> just know. <laughs> um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.